All right, we're back. Um, in this tutorial, we'll go over the last bit of this, exporting and preparing your file for presentation. Um, as you see, we've gotten every kind of thing set up. In here. We're going to go ahead and import our object. Um, it's going to be placed in kind of the middle. Um, and I'll explain some of the issues with scaling in a second. Uh, but let's go ahead and turn off the red oak. Um, I have a file that we're going to just kind of place in this scene here. Um, I'm going to import him in. Actually, I have it over here, so let me just go ahead. Um, mm, Kipling plushies. Going to close. So we're going to bring this file in. Um, this one right here. And we're going to bring that into this guy import file it's kind of big so I know it's going to be an issue more coffee <clears throat> Oh my goodness. Okay, so there it is. Yeah, it's griping to me about some of the file formats. We're going to move him. So he's two different colors already. Oh, huh. You get so used to twin motion. So. Make sure you know what layer that's on. It's on side. So what we need to do is make sure we have that on a new layer. So we're going to make a new layer down here. Call it Koala A and Koala and we're going to turn the first layer to um, we'll just make him like green second layer it's going to be pink and we're going to take the one layer put it on one layer and the other layer, another layer. They have their already have their materials, but we're doing that just in case. Group them together. See his point of origin is really messed up. I'm going to pause real So when you're faced with something like this, you're going to need, oh, you're going to need to reset its UV. The best way I know how to do that is inside of Cinema. Um, and so what you're going to do is you're going to ex export this out. Bring it into the cinema or whatever software you want. You just need to reset the UV. Um, there's a bunch of software where we'll do that. I'm not going to really go roll them in here. And yeah, we're going to get rid of most of that. And we're going to reset the UVs 
on both of these and pull them out. And we're going to position that zero, zero, zero. Okay, so if you've ever dealt with UVs, it's always kind of a tricky situation. But um, as you as you can see, you got to adjust these things to where they should be at the bottom. Looks like there's some stragglers in here. Sometimes what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to highlight this and split it. That's oh, yeah, V. Mesh. Split. So now we have it. Basically, there was some straggling polygons, and so we, we have to get that where we need it. All right, and so these should be pretty good now. Oh, there's a phone call, one second. All right, where were we? Um, Uh, I think we were getting this correctly over here. And so as we was see, we, we need to make sure that's at 90. We need to move him to zero, zero. We need to check where that is. We need that to be zero, zero, zero. And we also need that one to be zero, zero, zero. And 
looks like we got out of sync there. It's pretty good the way it is. So let's just take those guys out. And we're going to export this out. We can just do OBJ here. We'll call it Koala. Now we'll go back to here. We'll delete that one out. Import the new one. It's still exporting. Import the new one. Give it a second. to do make sure we move this back over here so we can see it my hair is just wonderful isn't it alrighty now we need to scale him down, see that we got it all zeroed out. Take the buildings off. Almost exactly flattened. There we go. I can scale it. To where it's a reasonable size. And then let's position it in the space we want it to be, which is right here. Position it a little like we want it. And now we're ready to export. So we're gonna do it again. Make sure we have these in separate layers. Just in case. Export FBX. There we go. Now we're going to go back to Twin Motion. Import that new model. FBX. Make sure the settings are right. Collapse by material is okay here because we, we did that separation. And there he is. He came in pretty good. Alrighty. Now we have our scene. We can go ahead and move the koala inside the art piece, or maybe up above it. Now we need to position ourselves in a location that's optimal for the shot.
And remember with these renderings, you want something to play with, something that really, so I think I need a kid in there just to show the kind of subtlety of the image. And so I'm going to go back to humans. I'm going to scroll down. There's some kids down here at the bottom. He looks really good. And then I think I need a little girl too. I'm going to change her preset. All right. Now reposition the shot. Flip my tree zone, see how that looks. That's pretty good. All right, now we're going to mess with lighting. All right. And so we'll make that the end of this second video.